Hello everyone, um, I know it's a little bit of a different background, but, um, today I'm doing a, um, Lego video of, um, my best Lego bargains that I've got, so, I'm basically running through, um, basically good price Lego that I've got, so, there's going to be five on this list, so, welcome to the top five Lego bargains. Number five. At number five, I have chosen the clay face splat attack. Wait, let me get this out. The clay face splat attack. So I just find that a bit of a tongue twister. Um, oh, it's very fitting into the camera. But you can see me now. So I got this in muffling. It's gonna oh, it's probably be muffled a bit. Sorry about that. The uh, yeah. So this set. Uh, I I got it for just the normal John Lewis price, but seeing as I've been just it just seemed really good price for me because I was looking at loads of different shops uh, and they were oh sorry and they were all like about thirty pounds and stuff. So to actually find I mean even with like discounts and stuff they were like twenty five pounds and I found this for uh, seventeen pounds. From John Lewis, so I just thought that was really good, so I just picked it off the shelf and got it. So, oh, sorry, yeah, I'm really get a proper stand somewhere. Um, so that's it for number five slot. Now, going to number four. Number four coming at number four is the telehandler. I know that a lot of people would have got it for the price that I did, but obviously, I was going to make it's a number three list, but I just thought that would be too short. So this is um I basically got this for fifteen pounds from Amazon because they're doing like this sale thing and um I'd always wanted a Technic set and I just thought this is a good way to get one for not crazy price because uh, if you haven't noticed I think Lego's getting a bit more expensive and just like price per part ratio and stuff it's just getting a little bit on the high side so that covers my number four spot for so um yeah so now moving on to number three coming in at number three is um black phantom so this is if you're not familiar with it and you kind of recognize it a bit because it's the same building system as Lego Star Wars buildable figures. It's just you might have not heard of these. These are Hero Factories. This is Black Phantom, which is normally the most expensive one. Um, it normally goes for about twenty to forty pounds used on eBay, and I got this new for six pounds. That's right, you heard me six. Great British pounds. I was cheap. Yeah. yeah, so um I got that when I saw it, so um basically it's just a really good price and that if you look on Amazon for it it's like a hundred and two pounds or something like that. And I just thought six pounds brand new, unused. And by the way, the all the Lego sets on this used I got for brand and they were brand new, so and they do get to some crazy cheap prices on this list, so... And this is only number three. After this, it kind of gets quite crazy. And there's never even been Lego sets officially for that price before, but... This is number three at the moment. Basically, it's really big, I've just put it sitting down because it won't fit in the camera. If it's, whoa, sorry. Just a minute. So... That's... Him, he is really big. I mean, uh, just for scale against Clayface. <laughs> big. So now we're moving on to number two. Coming in at number two is the Speed Racers. Uh, Audi Econ. Etron Quattro, I just read that off there. It's got like a little 
printed piece that says what it's called. <coughs> um, so you'll never guess how cheap I got this. I got this for 20p in a raffle, brand new. And I was really happy when I found out I got that. So that's kind of the whole story behind that. That's number two. Number one. The most cheapest Lego set I've ever got is that. Well, it isn't just that. That's the only part of the set that I could actually find. But it's um that little tiny little set from the Hobbit where it's got like um him and um what's his name? Gollum. It's got um Bilbo and Gollum and they're basically it's just got a little rock with the ring and a little boot for Gollum. So I got that set and I got it from Tesco's for right, you'll never believe this. Four pence, right? Four P. So, um I got this um for four pence. I it was probably the cheapest thing in the whole shop and I I basically just saw it on the shelf and I thought oh that set looks pretty cool I'm going to scan that so I scanned it on a little price checker thing and it said 4p and I was just like what? so I scanned it again it just said 4p so we um just got it for 4p and it came with like a lot of stuff that you would normally get on eBay for a lot more than 4p. Just just the minifigure would be more than 4p. Probably even just the ring itself would be more than 4p. And I got a spare one of those. So. That was really awesome. I also got a golden minifigure. So two minifigures, two rings, and I also got spare swords, so two swords. And that awesome hairpiece and an alternate face. I think that was a very good bargain. So that's the number one spot. And let's wrap this video up. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And please keep a lookout for more videos. I'm planning to do a lot more animations. Uh, maybe not so much Lego set reviews, but I'm still on it a little bit. So... I might also do some Hero Factory stuff, just coming really into the Lego Hero Factory. And I think that's all for this video. So, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye for now. I oh, should have been first on that list. Well, too bad. You guys are lucky, I came fifth. And I don't know how my racing car got beaten. Hmm.